तो हाय दोस्तों वेलकम टू यू ऑल इन माय अदर वीडियो एंड टुडे वीडियो इज़ अबाउट फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन जॉब्स इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो लॉट ऑफ यू ऑलवेज कमेंट अबाउट दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज राइट नाउ इट्स अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया या सो यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर दिस जॉब यू नो सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए टू दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड सो बेसिकली फॉर दिस फार्मेसी टेक्नीशियन इफ यू आर ए डिप्लोमा और यू आर बी फॉर्म और यू डिड यूर फार्म डी और यू आर एम फॉर्म और यू हैव एटलीस्ट वन ईयर एक्सपीरियंस एज ए working as a pharmacy technician so you can apply as a pharmacy technician and right now many state already open for pr visa so you can apply so this is the right opportunity for you um, because for pharmacy technician there is no need to write any exam so i'm going to discuss it to get information in this video So my name is Dr. Akram. I am a pharmacist and lecturer in Australia. So I always make videos for you. If you are new on my channel, please like and subscribe my videos so I can make videos for you. And uh, most of the time I am very busy, but in my busy schedule, I just take some uh, time to make videos to help you guys. So please share my videos so I can make videos for you. So now we are going to discuss about the uh, pharmacy technician. Pharmacy technician basically is like assistant to the pharmacist, and he has to uh, assist the pharmacist in uh, in preparing the medication. He also uh, uh, responsible for the OTC product and pharmacy uh, products. You know uh, because you know in Australia there are three kind of product. One is the OTC over the counter anyone can go and buy. One is the pharmacy medicine means that the under the supervision of pharmacist. they can buy certain medical conditions for example if you go say you have some allergy or something the pharmacist can give into you some medicine and another one is the prescription medicine that medicines you can buy only on the prescription of a medical doctor practitioner so pharmacy technician basically they work in retail pharmacies in a hospital also and the mostly their salary is about $25 to $30 per hour and lot of jobs available to work as a pharmacy technician because the pharmacist are like two pharmacists in a, each pharmacy there will be a, a three four uh, four five the like pharmacy technician and four five the pharmacy assistant so this is how the pharmacy work. one is the pharmacy manager you know, and one is the uh, like uh, billing uh, counter you know so these are the uh, like uh, 10 to 15 people are working in the each pharmacy you know so pharmacy is very big pharmacies here it is not like very small pharmacy there will be one or two employee but it's like a big pharmacies here you know so that's why they need the more uh, people to work as the pharmacy technicians so uh, pharmacy technicians basically if you want to apply then first step you have to go for a um, skill assessment and skill assessment you need a degree plus one year experience as a pharmacy technician in retail pharmacy or either in a hospital so if you have one year experience minimum uh, then you can file uh, for skill assessment next assessment you will get a positive skill assessment then you have to go for a filing a visa so you, there are certain visas like um, uh, like 190 you can file or sub class 491 you can file so all this visa i already make a one video so you can go watch in my channel there will be a five visa you can file the different different visa so i'm not going to detail on the on, on, on those visa so here but the mi minimum requirement to apply for a uh, pharmacy technician uh, pr visa that you are um, uh, uh, you have a 65 minimum point and you have a english requirement at least say you know so english requirement if you have ielts or your pte the score is 65 or or, or in the ielts 7 then you can apply for this visa you know and uh, if you have a high point there is a more chance to get pr so 65 five points just on the requirement to apply for this visa but most likely you will get this visa at least if you have a 80 points if you have below 80 points there is a uh, very low chance if you have 80 points you can go then for 491 visa or um, uh, and or if you have a uh, 75 or 80 point then you can go for 190 visa so 190 mostly they give for state sponsorship in particular state you have to live and work you are uh, you can you can but for this 491 this is a regional visa in region visa you have to uh, work there for 5 years in between you can file your pr visa this, this is not a pr visa you know so these are the possibility for as a pharmacy technician but the main problem you know your point so if you are have a low points so there is no chance to apply uh, I, I, i don't think so you know recently i, I got one, one of the call might be he's uh, watching this video so uh, there is one uh, pharmacy technician from uh, greece and he got invited from nsw recently you know so 
uh, right now many state already open uh, that is uh, uh, that uh, south australia west australia then canberra also and uh, victoria so these are the state already open for pharmacy technician but um, each visa have their own conditions you know for example you, you you must living and working there then you can apply but some state they have some uh, um, leniency so you can go uh, and apply so you have to go or uh, invite them uh, one to one and or maybe you can go uh, to, uh, talk to your uh, migration agent and they also can help you you know so pharmacy technician basically this is the uh, uh, after very long time they open and many people are getting uh, uh, visa you know so right now this is a good time for you so you can apply for the pharmacy technician basically for pharmacy technician they require for diploma but if you have degree that very good uh, you uh, you can just go straight away but if you have a little bit higher experience for example three years and more than three years then you can get five additional point and uh, most likely if your age is uh, below 35 around 35 you know then there is a more chance to migrate but if you are like 40 45 many people always comment as from uh, i have 10 year experience 15 year experience so in australia pr or visa is based on your points so points also they given to your education your experience and your age or you are single or you are married or your 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 response your husband or wife what he is doing you know his occupation also in the list or not so a lot of factors are affecting for points so if you have a high point so there is a chance to migrate as a pharmacy technician uh, definitely you can migrate and and uh, if you have a low point then you can go again for a caps exam then you have to uh, go for uh, that route to uh, apply for for PR visa in Australia. So the pharmacy technician is basically is requirement diploma se leke aapne B form kiya hai, farm D kiya hai, aur aapko ek saal ka experience retail pharmacy ke andar ya hospital ke andar as a working as a pharmacy technician. To aap isko pehle aapko jo skill assessment karwani hai, uske baad fir aap log jo hai PR visa directly apply kar sakte hain. Isliye koi bhi exam ki zarurat nahi hai. Aur jab aap jahan a jayenge visa leke to fir bahut saari jobs already available hain. Aur if you are in Australia already, you are on a student visa, you are doing your whatever your course, so you can apply. If you have previously you have at least you have one, one year experience or you are in australia you are working as a part time you are working as a 20 hours as a pharmacy assistant or pharmacy technician in australia still you can apply for skill assessment you know then you you can get in visa so this is the right time uh, without the caps exam there is no need for caps otherwise you have to go for caps exam you know so uh, so job cost scenario again this is like $30 around um, you can get as a per month as a salary and uh, most of the regional area lot of jobs are available so you can apply and uh, I can say you must apply if you are eligible so this is the right opportunity for you and uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any questions please leave a comment below I will reply and thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.